Hello everybody, Logan here with another video. First and foremost, happy October 1st everybody! Oh my goodness, it is finally October, which means the spooky season has officially begun. Carve up your jack-o'-lanterns, light up your candles, put up your foam tombstones everybody, because it is officially time to be as spooky as humanly possible. And what way to kick off October than to talk about a dead baby? Woo! <laughs> oh my god, that's so fucked up. Yeah, no, we're talking about a dead baby here. So, we're going through my personal collection of dolls. Yes, I, for one, I love dolls. You guys should know, I love creepy dolls. So I go through my professionally made ones, the ones that beautiful artists took the time to make. This is my second one from Original Sin Design. And this one I got a lot more recently. I got it, I don't remember when I got it. Um, I think last month. I'm pretty sure I've had this one for about a month now, but I'm terrible with time. Time does not exist in my brain. So... Anthony made this lady the uh, around the time actually uh, the same time when he made this one right here it's, you know sitting sitting next to me. So I mentioned in my last video that Anthony did two dolls. I was wrong. He did actually did three. He did two budget ones, which were like the pink dress ones. The one that I showed last video that was one of the budget friendly ones, and the other one he did was a lot more dead and had like some bandages wrapped around her face and then he did a more like deluxe one which was this piece right here so i didn't get this the same way i got the last one i got the last one before you know he put them up on etsy this one he brought out to a convention out in indianapolis that i went to horror hound weekend or uh mask fest for those of you who kind of know by that name he had a booth out there and i got there a little later than you know anticipated and his booth had already pretty much been sucked dry and this was one of the last pieces that he had and i wanted it when it first came out but you know i really was trying to save money for trans world because it was coming up very quickly so i was like this is all for sale. He was like, yeah, he threw me a price. He was like, oh, I can go lower. I took his price. I wanted it. And I thought it was worth that. I don't remember how much I paid for it, but I, I mean, he threw me a price. I took it. I went home happy and he was happy because I, he was saying like, he really couldn't just get rid of this one. I took it. I took it. I was happy with it. So this is like the, the deluxe one of the dolls where there's a little more to it for one. She's got, like, an actual proper wig. She's got an exposed rib cage. She actually has feet, as you can see here. The clothing's a little nicer. It's got this nice lace design here. And even, like, along the sleeves. She's got a, like, a bonnet or, like, a hood. And then she's got this flower crown with a crow on it. So there's a little more to this one than the last one. And I, I love this. I love this piece a lot. This one's a little more macabre than the last one because there's a darker implication behind it that this is like a dead baby, you know, that was all dressed up and prettied up and it just brought it away. And to me, like with the flower crown and everything and how nicely she's, she's dressed, there's kind of a, a cult-like appearance to it, which... I really like that. I, I think that uh, th that's just kind of a really cool thing that Anthony did. I don't know if that's intentional for to, to kind of, for her to kind of have this cult like vibe to her, but that's kind of how I'm interpreting it. So I don't know. Yeah, I think you know art, a beautiful thing about art is art is subjective and people kind of view it in different ways. And this is how I'm viewing it. Is, you know, there's kind of a cult implication there that I'm seeing. You know, I don't know. Again, I don't know if that's intentional or. If, he really had any implication behind it, but I, I like that. So, kind of like the last one, he gave this some disgusting, gross, ewy gooey muck. 
here, like, you know, rot. So it's all over the face. So it's not a clean bone ivory. And it's all over the rib cage and kind of around to the chest. Oh, and it's soaked in the hair, too. So the hair looks wet. And then, you know, all over the sleeves and then it's kind of seeped down at the end of the skirt. Now, the skirt's not as filthy, or the end of the dress, I'm sorry. The dress is not as filthy as the last one, but it has a lot more of that muck present in some of the black, you know, spray, which in kind of interpreting the black as, like, mold. You know, lots of organic things going on here. But it's really cool. The hands are different here. They're... They're not closed fists. They're open. They're kind of more like resting positions here. She does still have a ragdoll body, but she doesn't slump as much because she's got this like nice rib cage that holds her, holds her up. And it's like a, I don't know what material he uses for like the, the body, like the hands and the head. I don't want to say I don't think it's latex. I think he uses something a little nicer than than latex, but. Or maybe he uses, like, really nice quality latex that's not, like, costumey latex, but it's got a lot of, like, movement to it. But, I mean, it's gorgeous. I love the, like, baby skull here. You know, she's got no teeth. She's so young. She's so pretty. And, you know, there's, like, a wig put on her. And the the flower crown here, it, I mean, it's such an interesting concept here and I, I really like I really like how this this was very like this, this was done and this this is just why I am just so fascinated by Anthony's art you know I really I see them less as props and more as pieces of art because I look at them and I just kind of start to see like a bit of a story and it just could be you know my brain developing a story but I just I see stuff in his work and I I just I really like that I just you know I see your story and I see you know scenarios and I, I don't know I I'm just I'm super into it you know and that that's why like to me like I don't like a lot of people you know like their favorite artist is like Ed like Edmunds Anthony to me Anthony's like my Edmunds to like a lot of people right like I just have that much love and respect for him. And that's us and that's not saying that I don't like Ed either. Ed is like literally my childhood hero, right? So I mean Ed is also like one of my like all time idols. But like I mean Anthony is someone who I just highly respect and very much look up to and just I love and enjoy what he does so 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 much. Because he's just a very talented artist. I mean, he does some very amazing things here. I, I just, I love it. We, I mean, this is this is so cool. And again, like the other dolls, this was done in a limited run. I think he did more of these than the, um, the budget ones. I think he did the same overall quantity, but he split the, the limited one, the limited ones. See, here I am fumbling my words. I was on a roll here. He split the budget ones in half in two styles, which I do want to get the other one as well because that one was really cool. And here's kind of the cool thing. Ooh, see, I'm like falling apart mid-video. But here's the cool thing is that Anthony did a lot of dolls kind of way back when, right? And his dolls are all really cool. He used to do these like little pumpkin dolls. same Kind of the same format where they were kind of in a ragdoll body, but he did the heads and the hands. And they were so cool. And I, to this day, I really want to get one of his pumpkin dolls. And I, I do look like secondhand market to see if I can find one, like an actual one, not like a re, like a reproduction. Cause I know like sometimes people like to rip off an artist's hard work, but like I want one of his pumpkin dolls so badly. Because they are so cool. And, I, hey, I love pumpkins so much. I love kind of that classic Halloween vibe as well. But, two, I love having his work. To me, personally, to have a piece of someone who I personally highly look up to. I've looked up to Anthony for so long. You know, it, it personally means a lot to me as not only a fan of his, but as, you know, an artist to have the work of someone who I look up to so much and, you know, is such a massive inspiration to me. 
you know, I mean, having this, you to be able to, like, touch it, I mean, it's very meaningful to me, you know, it, and to see the work and the passion that goes into it. But, I, man, I really want to get one of these pumpkins as well to have sit up on my shelf next to this one and this one and the next doll I'm talking about, which is not original sin design, by the way. Uh, these are the last two that I, I will be discussing. But, and Anthony, hey, if you see this video, um, wonderful, 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 wonderful. As I was saying before, my air compressor decided to so rudely cut me off. Anthony, if you actually see this video and get to this point of me just rambling about this, uh, here, dead baby. <laughs> I just like, I just like being so blunt about what they are, dead baby. Um, uh, hey, if you ever decide to kind of get back to the groove of the dolls, I will commission you to do a pumpkin doll. Because I love your pumpkin dolls so much. I, I like... I'll commission you to do one. I love them so much. I would love to have one here um, in my collection of dolls because, they, I mean, your dolls are just beautiful and they are so great. They are just so well made and they're just, they look fantastic. They're some of the best. They're, it's not, they're some of the best dolls. They are the best dolls that I have in my possession, in my collection. I would be truly honored to have one of your beautiful pumpkin dolls in my collection. Anyway, guys, that is all for me. Again, happy October. Have so much spooky fun and stay safe out there, right? And to all of my haunt actor friends, have fun out there. Raise absolute fucking hell out there. And traumatize a kid or two do it just do it be the reason why a kid has nightmares anyway guys that is all for me make sure to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you the next one bye guys